Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's actually a really nice sunny day outside, but someone, actually more than one someone, has asked if I could continue talking about the different chicken breeds and just showing some pictures of them, just so people can get a greater understanding of the different breeds that are out there. So I thought, why not? Every third day I am going to post a chicken breed video. So today I wanted to talk about another attractive breed, from northern Switzerland. This time I want to talk about the Appenzeller Spitzhaben. It is actually a really beautiful breed. I am going to add these to my flock probably this summer, this coming summer. It's too late in the season to add new birds now for us because it's very snowy and getting kind of cold. So we're not going to add new birds now, but we are going to add some of these guys in the summer. We're not exactly sure of how the Appenzeller Spitzhaben came about. Their exact origin's a bit of a mystery. We know they've been around since at least the 1500s, and they may have been developed by local monasteries in Switzerland. They faced extinction in the 1950s, but luckily a German breeder named Kurt Fischer, I believe, saved the breed. He worked really hard to bring it back from the brink of extinction. We can thank him for this spectacular-looking breed. It was imported in the, into the UK in the early 1970s and spread from there. These birds are not super rare these days, probably because of their fantastic heads. They have this wonderful crest. All Appenzeller Spitzhabens must have that unique crest, and it points forward. In fact, Spitzhaben translates into pointed bonnet. It really does look like they're wearing a little pointed bonnet. So there's a real good reason they're called that. They are fantastically beautiful. And I really look forward to having these on the farm next year. The first, originally, decades ago, only came in silver spangled, gold spangled, and black. German breeders eventually added a kind of a buff color with white spangles that's called chamois uh, spangled, or it goes by a variety of different names depending on what country you're in and what area you're in. We also have blue now and cuckoo or bard and even black models. So there are more colors available now than there used to be. Check with the association governing how, how you show chickens in your area because some of these colors may not be admissible depending on where you are. So just check before you invest a lot of money if you wanna show your chickens into a certain color. These guys are excellent free rangers and great foragers. They can practically feed themselves except in the depths of winter. The flip side of that is they don't do well in confinement. So if you don't have a lot of space for them to forage and free range, you're better off passing on this particular bird. They're also really flighty. They're really flighty and very active. They're not great for pets, but they're beautiful to look at. So if you want a chicken that's going to sit on your knee and snuggle, this might not be the chicken for you. But the Appenzeller Spitzhaben are wonderful to have on the farm. They're beautiful birds. They're very active. They just don't really want to be super affectionate. They are a good egg layer. They lay about 230 to 280 white eggs a year. So if you're looking for egg layers, these are both attractive birds and excellent layers. They only come in a standard variety, however. There is no bantam. So you're not going to find a tiny version of this particular bird because they don't exist. It's only your standardized um, Appenzeller Spitzhavens. So... Just uh, keep that all of that in mind when you decide if you're going to add these guys to your farm. I'm definitely adding them to my farm because they are absolutely fantastic. But that's a decision you have to make for yourself. That's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.